Hey, how are you? I'm going to be reading from this book, Leadership Theory and Practice by Nordhaus. I'm going to be in Chapter 5. This is the Situational Approach. This is the Strengths, strengths section on page 100 and 101. The Situational Approach to Leadership has several strengths, particularly for practitioners. The first strength is that it has a history of usefulness in the marketplace. Situational leadership is well known and frequently used for training leaders within organization. Hersey and Blanchard in 1993 reported that has, it has been a factor in training programs of more than 400 of the Fortune 500 companies. It is perceived by corporations as offering a useful model for training people to become effective leaders. A, a second strength of the approach is its practic practicality. Situational leadership is easy to understand, intuitively sensible, and easily applied in a variety of settings. Whereas some leadership approaches provide complex and sophisticated ways to assess your own leadership behavior. The decision-making approach by Vroom and Yetman in 73. Situational leadership provides a straightforward approach that is easily used. Because it is described at an abstract level that is easily grasped, the ideas behind the approach are quickly acquired. In addition, the principles suggested by this approach are easy to apply across a variety of settings including work, school, and family. Closely akin to the strength of practicality is a third strength. It has a prescriptive value. Whereas many theories of leadership are descriptive in nature, the situational approach is prescriptive. It tells you what you should and should not do in various contexts. For example, if your followers are very low in competence, Situational leadership prescribes a directing style for you as the leader. On the other hand, if your followers appear to be competent but lack confidence, the situational approach suggests that you lead with a supporting style. These prescriptions provide leaders with a valuable set of guidelines that can facilitate and enhance leadership. For example, in a recent study, Merovich and Gu in 2015 reported that the closer a leader's style is to the prescribed style, the better the performance and satisfaction of the employees. A fourth strength of situational leadership is that it emphasizes leader flexibility. Oh, Graf and Yukul in 1983 and 89. The approach stresses that leaders need to find out about their followers' needs and then adapt their leadership style accordingly. Leaders cannot lead using a single style. They must be willing to change their style to meet the requirements of the situation. This approach recognizes that followers act differently when doing different goals and that they may act differently during different stages of the same goal. Effective leaders are those who can change their own style based on the goal requirements and the followers' needs even in the middle of a project. For example, Zagarmi and Roberts in 2017 reported that when followers perceive a fit between the leader's behaviors and their own needs, it is positively related to job effect, trust, and favorable work intentions. Finally, situational leadership reminds us to treat each follower differently based on the goal at hand and to seek opportunities to help followers learn new skills and become more confident in their work. Fernandez and Veracho in 97 and Yuko in 98. Overall, this approach underscores that followers have unique needs and deserve our help in trying to become better at doing their work. Hmm. That is the strength section in chapter 5. That's page 101. See ya.